Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The City Police and Fire Departments join with other first responder agencies and the local school district in the annual Distracted Driving Live exercise. We've told you how active our Senior Center members are. They now hold a live jam session. We'll talk to one of the participants. Papio Fun Park expands one of its existing interactive games and holds a ribbon cutting. See all of these stories next in City Happenings for the week of April 25th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The annual Distracted Driving Exercise includes many local and state agencies and organizations, including the city's fire department. While this is great really training for us and we're, we're putting on a display for the high school students to see what it really is like at a car crash like this, we're always aware that there can be a real incident that occurs as a result of the training that we're doing, so that's always in the back of our mind. Chief Bose says this kind of training is priceless. The, the training is very valuable. Doing it in front of a, a live audience, in effect, uh, really adds that element of realism to it, so we really can't get any more real than this in a situation that's predetermined. The chief points out that an exercise like this even gets the department veterans' attention. When that tone sounds and they get dispatched and they come into the scene and see the crowd, see the cars, uh, then the adrenaline really gets going and that's when all the previous training kicks in and all those autom automatic responses take place. Bose emphasizes that this training is worth all the effort. We're very excited to take part in a demonstration like this because we know the value that it has for the high school students that are seeing this. And if we can have an impact on even one student not driving distracted, whether that's alcohol, drugs, texting, whatever it might be, even a difference of one makes a huge impact on the community. The city's senior center hosts a live jam session every month. We started it, uh, oh, almost a year ago, I guess. and. Uh, uh, some of the people here found out I played guitar and uh, we knew that Don played because he had, been, had played his guitar with the senior singers. And Don has set us up with once or twice a month uh, having a little session where we could come and play our songs and people wanted to come and sing with us or you know anybody was in, invited to play. Jim says many times people participate. A lot of the times uh, some of the audience comes up and you know, they request a song and They'll sit with us and sing with us, you know, and stuff. But a lot of times, if we get the right song, we get the whole room going. <laughs> Performing as a solo act is all new for him. I never thought I'd be playing in front of people. <laughs> I tell you what, until, uh, oh, probably uh, in, my, in my 40s, almost 50, I, I couldn't play in front of people by myself. I, I sang in choirs and stuff, but as far as performing on my own and playing in front of people, I was scared. I mean, I, I was a coward. <laughs> and my voice would tremble and, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd tighten up. And... But he's not intimidated anymore. I have uh, made a real effort to try and do this kind of stuff. And uh, uh, I, I do some uh, uh, individual things at some of the uh, in assisted living places and that. I put on my own little show. and. Do it, do stuff like this, uh, do some open mics once in a while, stuff like that. A longtime Papillion business does expansion renovation and celebrates with a ribbon cutting. Most of us that have had kids can think how much time we've spent in here and it's in the middle of the park system. I mean, whether it's you investing in the community, you give back to the foundations, you give back to the, to the chamber. Um, it's a place that families get to hang out. You are a big employer, I mean, for a lot of reasons. So a ribbon cutting for another expansion and reinvestment. Uh, what do you say besides thank you? One more reminder about our annual spring cleanup. It begins Thursday, April 28th and runs through Sunday, May 1st. This event is for Papillion residents only. Please show your water bill as proof of residency. This is just one of the many things going on in the city. Stay up to date with everything. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. And information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.